Well, hello there, friends. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I know I got some tunes playing in the background. We shut those off. Um, tonight's live stream is slightly different. I'm going to be showing you some really, really cool, big announcement things that I'm super, super pumped about. So feel free to leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to actually walk you through um, all the things that entail in this big announcement, and I could not be more excited. Been working like crazy to try to get this done in time for you guys, and I am really, really pumped to actually bring it to you. So, without further ado, the big announcement is a new T-shirt and things that go along with it. Like that is not anywhere near as exciting as I thought you were going to say, and the answer to that is, well, you'd think so, but no, it's really, really sweet, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. So, uh, backstory to this: Hey, Janet, good to see you, friend. Thanks so much for coming. It's good to see your smiling face. Um, so this is the idea behind the whole thing. So um, I'm a contemporary Christian singer-songwriter. The whole reason why I write, record, and release music is to comfort the afflicted and confront the comfortable. And what better message than the gospel message to actually be able to share that with people? And so that's kind of the basis of it. I was having a discussion with my eldest daughter the other night. And... She said, well, dad, like you share the gospel with everybody, like every single time you're on stage, right? And I had to admit that I didn't. There were times where I either was too scared to because of the location I was in, that I didn't know my relationship with people who were there, or even worse, um, if it was just something that I didn't think that I should be sharing at the time, whether it was a winery gig, um, a background gig, that sort of thing. So instead, I was like, man, like, really need to do a better job of actually witnessing um, in general, but also just having gospel-centered conversations. So um, one of the ways that came about um, was the ability to essentially have forced conversations with people. And there was a lady that actually was my Uber driver the other day that did an excellent job with this. She was wearing a t-shirt with big, bright, bold letters that just said, ask me to pray for you. Now, I had already had the idea for the t-shirt, but I was like, that is genius. It basically paints herself into a corner where if somebody asks about the t-shirt, she's got to have a conversation about it. So um, long story short, I was trying to think of a bunch of different things that I could do to be able to encourage you guys as part of my community how to actually spread the message um, of love and hope um, through the gospel with other people. And I don't know if you guys remember, there was a gospel sharing tool a long time ago that was called the Wordless Book. And the more I got thinking about it, I was like, man, like that's actually a really cool and easy way to do it because I still remember, you know, Black is for Sin, because uh, there was an entire song that went with it. It was like Black, um, my heart was Black as Sin until the Savior came in. He washed me white as snow. I'll walk the streets of gold. And in God's word, I know, I'll walk, oh, in the God's words, I know, I'll walk the streets of gold um, to grow, um, to grow in faith each day. I'll read my Bible and pray. I think that's how the song went. Anyway, so that was in my brain. And I was like, man, like, it would be really cool just to have a shirt that just said the gospel and had those colors on it. And then that way, when somebody asked about the gospel, you could literally use the t-shirt to talk about that. I was like, that's really, okay. So that was one idea. And then I got thinking like, well, what happens when, you know, there's so many people in this world that especially nowadays where as much as we're confrontational online, uh, people are not as confrontational um, face to face, or at least it's seemingly that way. There's a lot, like I was spent last week in a couple of different airports and everybody was genuinely pretty kind to each other. 
and just kind of keeping each other at arm's distance. So I was like, well, what it, would it be like if we actually had like some sort of way that you could actually like share the gospel with people just by wearing the t-shirt without having to say a word. Um, so Cindy, good to see you, friend. Thanks so much for coming. Happy Easter you as well. And um, a lot of this concept actually came to a culmination. The reason why I wanted to launch it tonight and tell you guys about it specifically tonight is because of Easter being basically like the whole Super Bowl of the Christian faith. Like Christmas is awesome. It's great. If the virgin birth didn't happen, then Easter doesn't happen. But if uh, Easter doesn't happen, then it really doesn't matter about the virgin birth because God's death and resurrection is where the hope of our faith lies, not just in a baby in a major. So that being said, there are a lot of really cool designs that my sister actually helped me come up with. And this is what they ended up being um, finally realized into was this specific design. And I'm really, really pumped for it. So the front of the shirt says uh, the gospel um, and it has the colors. Now, granted, there are some different colors that are in here. Um, the originals, and I learned this from just doing research. The original was literally just black, red, white, and yellow. Or I'm sorry, just um, yeah, black, red, and white. Um, and that was with Spurgeon, I believe, who used those uh, originally. Um, and then gold was added to talk about how we would live with him for eternity. And then I think Dwight L. Moody, or D.L. Moody, um, added in green for growth. And then, of course, Baptist tagged on blue for baptism. However, I'm changing that slightly um, for this version of the shirt. But the whole idea of this is um, the gospel message is summed up in... Um, we are broken, and that's what black stands for. We have sin in our lives. Because of Christ's blood for, and his sacrifice for us, which is red, we can then have um, peace with God, being washed white as clean, um, and we can spend eternity with him, which is the gold or the yellow. And then when we do that, there's a growth process. From that point, we are redeemed, we are saved when we believe that. And we grow through the process of sanctification, um, which is character building. And that is all through reading God's word and praying and getting to know who he is. And blue is, do you believe this? So it's not a baptism thing for me, at least. Um, it can be. I do believe that you should be baptized. I do not. It has nothing to do with your salvation standpoint. Um, it's the belief in trusting in your faith in Christ that matters. Um, but blue, I want it to be the question. So as you're talking with people, you can talk about what all the bars mean. And the last one is, do you believe this? And the real reality of this is blue for you. Do you believe this? Yes. If I'm compelled by my faith that I believe this, I want to share it with other people. And because I share it with other people, that means that I'm actually going to talk about it with other people. So I'm really, really excited. And, um, and then you have the back of the shirt which has its own kind of thing where it says can't afford to skip and it has a huge QR code. So if you actually scan that specific QR code, um, which I think you all can actually do even while it's up on the screen as well. I'm going to try it real quick just to see if it um, tags in here. Um, yep, sure does. So it comes to this web page that says can't afford to skip. It has the colors on it just like around the back of the t-shirt. Um, and then it has a very short video of me sharing the gospel message. So while you're standing in line for Starbucks at Kroger, you know, just in line for, a, you know, a, a roller coaster ride at a theme park or whatever, at a concert or whatever, you can literally be sharing the gospel with people. And the cool part about this, and I'll play this video for you guys here in a second, the reason why I did this specifically was to try to help point people back to you as the one wearing the shirt. Because again, this is not about me. This is not about um, Matt has this brilliant idea. This is literally, it's just trying to help you guys share the gospel and be more intentional in the way that you live, the way you walk in this earth so that more people can actually know who Christ is and what he's done for you. So this is the gospel message that they would actually um, be, let me uh, pull it up here real quick. Um, 
so this this would be the the gospel message that they would actually um, hear when they scan that and then hit play. So that's the video that they would watch. Now, I don't know about you, but I got super, super excited knowing full well that something that can be um, enticing or at least pique people's interest allows them the opportunity to actually connect with who God is and at least give them an opportunity to be able to dive deeper in that. So you may be asking, okay, so what's the experience like? So they scan the code on the shirt. They go to this website, which of course is backwards because my phone camera is backwards. And then there's two, they would watch that video and then there's two buttons at the bottom. And the reason why there's two buttons is one, there's probably going to be other believers that are watching those videos. And it's cool to be able to build camaraderie with fellow believers. Um, and so one of them is get your own tea. So they can literally go, they can click the button. As soon as they click the button, it'll take them to where they can purchase their very own uh, the gospel tea, and then they can actually join the community of sharing the gospel by wearing the t-shirt, which is pretty cool. The second one is a learn more about the gospel button. Now, what this will take them to is when they click on it, um, it will actually go to um, the community tab um, for a brand new community that I created um, called um, the gospel. Now, for some of you who've already joined like the $2 community or the free um, uh, traders community, uh, it's the exact same style of communities. And this is why it's really cool to me because God's just allowed these different things that have happened while I've been building out things in my music career, while I've been trying to figure out how to connect with people more. And it's basically just lit it on fire to where it's like, hey, if you're doing this for yourself, like what would happen if you did this solely and specifically for me? Because initially what I was thinking was it would be really cool if there was a community or a way for somebody to type in their zip code and be able to find the local church that they could then talk with a pastor with. I was like, but the problem is it's not pastors that need to talk with people. It's literally just fellow believers. Um, you know, pastors are there to encourage the body and to build people up, but they're not professional Christians as far as like everybody's a believer that's walking through this and can and has the ability and the obligation to go and disciple and build other people up. So. What I decided to do, um, and I'm going to show this to you now, was actually create um, this group that is just called the Gospel. 
and this group is specifically designed um, for anyone and everyone. I would love for all you guys to join this, um, but this specific group allows us the ability to have people come in. They can type, they can introduce themselves, they can ask questions specifically about the different colors, where black being sin, red is Christ's blood, white is forgiveness, gold is eternity, green is growth, and then blue is do you believe this? Um, there can be announcements about ways for people to be able to actually like connect more um, if there's events that are going on. Um, so it's just a really, really cool and powerful community um, that I would just love for all of you guys to join, to be a part of. Um, unfortunately, um, the way this view is set up, you can't see the entirety of the community, um, but I'm going to go ahead and drop below here um, the community that you can actually join with. Um, that way you guys can actually go ahead and join that specific community. Um, and it's free to join. I want everybody there. I want people to be able to have gospel-centered conversations um, and to be able to help answer questions. Um, so um, this community is, again, completely free. The whole idea is for you and for other people to join um, so that when people have questions about the gospel, um, that they have a place where they can actually go um, and know that there will be people who are interested in and desiring of answering those questions. Um, I will say this, this is not an opportunity to try to prove one specific religious sect of Christianity is better than the other. The whole purpose and goal of this is to help build believers and encourage people towards faith in Christ. So as much as I know a lot of us have very specific um, beliefs on baptism or predestination, the end times, all that stuff, the goal is to have gospel-centered conversations with people so that they would come to know who Christ is um, and not be overburdened by having to figure out all religion on the front end. So the goal here is know who Christ, what he's done for you. The beautiful part about this too is, and I will share this again as well. So you have this whole community tab that's here and you have a discussion section up here. There's also a way for people to be able to see members. They can write down where they're from, all that stuff. Um, in one of the questions or one of the sections, I have find a local church. Uh, which is over on the sidebar, which I know for you guys, it's hard to see until you join in there. Um, but it's literally a place where you can post, uh, you know, the church, you know, when you guys meet, where you guys are located, what church they can come be a part of. The other part that's really cool about this is in the learning section. If I click on learning, um, I think, oh, I probably need to refresh my page because um, I put it in a different tab. Um, but in the learning section, there's this, the Gospel 101. Uh, when they open it up, it will take them to a training course section, um, which I literally, this is fresh off the boat, just did this today um, as far as finishing things out, but it literally is a course that takes you through um, all the different steps and a little bit deeper. So if you click on black, it will literally come here and it's me talking, it's three minutes long and it's specifically on the issue of sin. Um, there's the blood um, for Christ's redemption, uh, white being washed. So it goes through all the different colors um, and literally talks about every single one of them. So the cool part about this is, is it allows somebody who's curious, who didn't get enough of an explanation or still has questions, to be able to go directly to this specific page and they can actually go a little bit deeper in there. My ultimate goal would be to flesh this out and be able to have some of my personal mentors be able to add um, and expand upon a lot of the different things that they've learned specifically about the gospel in different ways. Um, and of course, as they've completed this lesson, it then allows them to come to a final spot where it talks specifically to believers of, hey, if you believe this and you already know it to be true, um, then this is our calling. This is what we need to go and do um, is to go and tell the gospel to more people. So it gives it an area where if you got more ideas, once you go through the course, you're like, hey, I have this idea. I would really love to, you know, join you in this or add this piece to it. 
Uh, you can email me directly. There's a way to a link that goes back to the group, to the community. So they can ask any questions there. And of course, even purchase their very own gospel tea um, if they're interested in getting their own as well. Or if, you know, it's a church, small group organization that wants to buy a bulk order for um, a witnessing um, initiative that they're doing, um, then you can reach out to me as well. We can get that set up. Um, but I'm really, really excited about this because I think it has the potential to really be able to reach a lot of people um, because it's not just, hey, you like the music? Cool. You should go listen to more here. Um, ultimately, again, my goal with music was to comfort the afflicted and confront the comfortable. And ultimately, that is to share the gospel message with people. And so... I'm not stopping doing music. In fact, I'm going to continue to keep doing music. Um, <laughs> but this kind of just bypasses the music side of things and gets people to the end goal, which is essentially for them to um, hear the gospel message so they have an opportunity to respond to it. Um, so I'm really excited to see what God does with this whole project, what he does through you um, and all the conversations that you guys will have. Um, I was really hoping that by tonight, I would have a t-shirt that I could actually be wearing and show it to you guys. Unfortunately, um, I did not plan well enough ahead, and I had an entire week where I was out in uh, Florida, got home for one night, literally spent one night in my bed, and then we ended up uh, driving down and spending time with my in-laws, which has been phenomenal for Easter, um, to be able to spend time with them. But it means that I am running behind on a lot of different things. These shirts are coming in um, next week. Um, I should have them actually, um, I believe, on Thursday or Friday this coming week. Uh, they are for sale right now. Um, so if you want to go um, and get yourself a shirt, um, let me post that code here um, in the chat for you guys. Um, it is um, slightly different than a lot of the other merch stuff that I've done before. Um, this is actually all done through a company called Sunday Cool, which they're actually based out of Florida, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and they make some of the most comfortable t-shirts I've ever worn in my life. Um, and I don't say that just to um, say, hey, like you should still get it. it. It literally is like one of the absolute most comfortable t-shirts ever. Um, it's a Christian organization. They do a lot of really good work. They're, they're great printing stuff. Um, they are more expensive doing it that way. Um, but I really wanted you guys to actually like be proud of the shirt you wanted to wear. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, you can go specifically to that link, um, where you can buy your shirt. I will be shipping those out as soon as they come into me. This is the first run of them. Uh, Lord willing, um, we should be giving Sunday Cool a ton of business as far as being able to get a lot more of these shirts out in the open um, so that more people can actually hear the gospel. I do want to make this caveat. This is not trying to be some sort of crazy money grab where it's like, oh, cool, well, Matt's trying to make money off of the gospel message. It literally spawned from um, a lot of different conversations I had recently. One of them was with Russ Lee um, from New Song. And he encouraged me to read a book called Tribes by Seth Godin. And one of the things in that book was essentially like, as you're building a tribe of fans or followers and that sort of thing, it needs to be more than just about you. It needs to be about other people. It needs to be about collectively, what does the group do? And honestly, I took a lot of deep thought to think of what was, what is the thing that I really truly wish that my community as far as my fans are known for. Like, yes, I want people to be nice. I want them to be caring. I want them to be friends of people who are going through rough times. Those are all descriptors of like the character of the people that I want to be associated with my music. But ultimately, I think what's the most important thing that I could ever think of that people would be known for is that they were deeply in love with Jesus and they were bold in their faith to go share with other people. And so the more that I got thinking about that and thinking about the community I just created for the music stuff and the fact that I know how to do email marketing and work with QR codes and to be able to share things in a way that um, can relate to people really well. And the fact that God has given me at this point in time 
a small tribe of people who love my music and they love the Lord. Um, and we're all curious as to how we can continue to share the gospel with other people. And yet we all need encouragement from each other. Um, a pastor this morning um, from a church that we attended um, while we were down here serving at camp, absolutely love him to death. Pastor Brad had gone through Mark and he was talking about how the women left the tomb afraid and didn't tell anyone. And the humanness that's inside of that to where I feel that way at times. Like there's times where I was like, oh, like I really want to share the gospel with somebody. But man, what if they think I'm not even just weird, but like what if it all of a sudden severs the relationship? What if by being too hard on Jesus, you know, pushing too hard on Jesus that somebody thinks that I don't love them anymore? Um, and quite frankly, I think some of those things is just the devil allowing us to, to come up with excuses um, for reasons why we shouldn't do X, Y, or Z. And so I'm really hoping that through doing this, um, it essentially paints me into a corner of this gospel tea is now a part of my brand. It's a part of who I am as an artist. It's part of who I am as a dad. Um, my daughter has already asked me to get her one um, because she wants to wear one all the time. Um, and the fact that, you know, I want to be, if known for nothing else, and my wife and I talk about this a lot, if for some reason this specific project the gospel tea took off so much that it became like the next wwjd bracelet and they were flying off the shelves and all i was able to do was literally just have enough oxygen to breathe to be able to order the next run of them to get them sent out and do this to where it took my attention away from music because I had to focus solely specifically on just selling this t-shirt and just getting orders filled and sent out and that sort of thing. I think this is the, one of the only things that would ever make me stop and not stop doing music because I have to stop, but stop because I need to focus on something that's far more important because people hearing the gospel message, is far more important than the next song that I could create. So I'm really, really stoked about this. Again, this is not me saying I'm stopping with music. I'm still doing music. And hopefully there'd be actually um, my 2.0 and 3.0 plans for this too, is potentially to have a way um, whereas people hear the gospel and they get in the community to be able to have a tab where it's like, hey, if you need music um, that's you know good and healthy for you, as a fellow believer or somebody who's new to your faith, that'll encourage you in your faith. Um, then you should check out some of these artists because there's a lot of my friends that are independent artists that are writing phenomenal music. That's really, really encouraging. Um, and so maybe it's a way that we can essentially pull people um, away from just loving things of the world. And so they can lo love the things of God. Um, so I'm really, really excited about it. For those of you that just got here, I'll do a real quick synapse of this. Um, basically, um, there's a brand new t-shirt that's coming out. I will have them on Thursday. You can pre-order them tonight. It's called the gospel tea, um, on the front of it, um, is literally a, um, a, <laughs> it just says the gospel, um, on the front, it has the colors that represent the gospel message, black for our sin, red for Christ's blood and redemption, um, that, that washes us clean, which is white. The gold and yellow stand for us being able to spend eternity with him. The green is for continued growth and blue is, do you believe this? Do you believe this to be true? Um, so it's a way for you to present the gospel right off the front of your t-shirt. And then of course, if somebody doesn't want to talk with you or they're too embarrassed to, they're curious, you know, but you know, they're not quite sure they can actually scan the QR code on the back of your t-shirt. Um, and that will take them to a video of me actually describing the gospel message to them and inviting them to talk with you and share your testimony. Um, from there, at the bottom of the screen, um, where that video is, they have the ability to either do one of two things. Um, they can either um, buy their own t-shirt if they want to, <laughs> or uh, join a community specific to um, the gospel. So this is a community that I want all of you to join. 
um, because that community will hopefully be pumping with a lot of different questions and people who are wanting um, Christ-centered um, connection with people. Um, and so this specific um, community allows you the ability to be able to come in here. You can leave comments, you can leave questions, um, but the whole goal and idea of doing that is so that we can actually promote good discussion with people um, towards the gospel. And of course, if they go to the learning section um, of this specific page, they'll be able to go to the gospel um, training, like gospel one-on-one, -on -one, and it basically has several extended videos specifically about sin, Christ's blood, um, redemption, eternal life, growth, and then do they believe this? And then another way for them to be able to either purchase a shirt or point them back to the community um, where they can ask any questions of anyone. So that's the big news. That's kind of the big massive thing that I wanted to share with everybody. I will be sending out an email uh, tonight specifically with the URL where you can go ahead and actually order your t-shirt um, if you want to. Again, you don't have to. In fact, if nothing else, if this just encourages you to go out and share the gospel with more people, then my work is done. Like that would that would light me up. I would be so happy about that. <laughs> so, um, if this all if that's all this does is encourages you to go and do that, awesome. Um, if you want a way to essentially paint yourself into a corner and wear your faith on your sleeve, you can snag the T-shirt. Um, and I will get them sent out as soon as they're here. So, uh, and I've been talking for a while. Um, it's slightly different than most live streams we do. Most live streams I do specifically, we do a lot of singing and hanging out and that sort of thing. Tonight was just slightly different because I had this big announcement and I wanted to take the time to really let everybody know exactly what this whole thing is and or was um, because I know there's a ton of information surrounding this. So if you have questions on it, Please leave them in the comments below right now. I'll answer any questions that you have. Um, so, yeah, we can get things rolling. Uh, Roy, good to see you. Happy Sunday. Thanks so much for being here. I uh, hope you had a marvelous Easter. Uh, Glenda as well. Thanks so much for being here. Um, you guys are absolutely fantastic. Looks like we've got quite a few people here as well, which is great. Um, so, yeah, let me know what your questions are. Leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to take a drink of water real quick and play you guys. Uh, a real quick music video um, that I have for you. Um, that way um, you guys can think of your questions and then let me know what they are and then I will come back and answer them real quick. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and play one real quick, grab a drink of water, and then come back where we can um, yeah, have some discussion on ideas that you guys have or any questions that you have specifically surrounding um, the t-shirt and, um, anything else to do with Matt Fawcett music or, uh, the gospel initiative that we're working on. Sound good? Awesome. So leave me your comments, let me know. And, uh, yeah, we'll get rolling. Breathe in. 
So, super pumped that uh, the Gospel Tea is now out in the open. Uh, I'll put that QR code up there for you guys again if you want to go snag yours tonight. Again, they will be shipping out on uh, Thursday. So, as soon as I get them in, whatever orders have been ordered, they will be shipping out on the way. Um, and honestly, it's going to be one that I pretty much wear all the time. Um, so, I am really, really excited about it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat. Um, would love to hear questions or comments that you have on it. Uh, if you think it's a good idea, horrible idea, um, let me know. Um, let's see here. Um, I did have some people that were asking specifically about, um, you know, would things change with the QR code? um after uh like after the shirts and stuff get out there um so i own the website that everything's on i own the qr codes so it will possibly change um my hope is that this is version one um and of course as i get better um and you guys share your thoughts with me as well um that i will continue to um, update things um, in a way that actually like makes sense and that sort of thing. One of the big updates that I'd like to do um, is actually inside of the, um, let's see here, it's inside of the training portal type spot um, that is a part of the learning. Um, so if you come up to learning, um, once you're in the community, um, it has uh, the Gospel 101 when you open this, um, right now it's literally like bare bones, um, just has a handful of different videos that you can go watch. What I'd love to do is flesh this out even more, uh, answering any specific questions that people have, um, and even getting into not deep in the weeds, but at least answering questions that people have here so that the discussion that's happening can be more top of mind discussion, that sort of thing. So if we realize we're getting the exact same questions all the time, inside of the group and that sort of thing, then I can actually just create a video um, that people can go and listen to. Uh, let's see, Janet says, love the idea, awesome, cool. Super glad to hear that. That makes me excited that you love the idea. Um, so yeah, um, real quick, again, I'll post that code up there so you guys can go get the tea. And actually there's ways to get the tea inside the community. So I will just post um, the community QR code, um, so you guys can actually just go join the community. I would love for everybody to be there. It is completely free. All you have to do is literally just join or log in. Um, it's the same login for my other communities that I have, both the traders community free um, and the traders community, the $2 a month one. So if you're already part of those, then all you have to do is log in. And if you're not part of those, you can log in there. And then you can join the other groups as well. So it makes it really, really easy to do that. And in fact, I'm wondering if um, the login code will actually show. Um, but um, yeah. So anyway, um, that's the big news for tonight on the live stream. Again, next week, we'll be doing some more music, tunes, that sort of thing. For all you calendar holders, we got a brand new single that is coming out tomorrow. Um, and because of all the crazy travel and everything else, it's going to be almost completely polished. Um, but there's definitely things I'm working on before the official release. So you guys are actually going to um, get some um, kind of rele unreleased mm -hmm. demo stuff that nobody else is going to get. So if you have a calendar, you got a really special treat coming tomorrow. If you don't have a calendar, you'll just have to hear the professional version done. Uh, when it's done on the 8th of April, because we are on the crest of a brand new month. So uh, let's see, Janet, still trying to log into both, right? Um, yes. So 
once you log in to the gospel community, um, you will be able to switch communities um, just on the left-hand side. Let me see if I can share this real quick with you guys, and then it'll be a little bit easier to be able to see. Uh, I'm going to try to turn this on and see if I can just move this down. Um, is this not going to let me do it? Uh, nope, it's not going to. Um, so when you get to, um, or when, when you first sign in to this, um, let me go back. It should come up to basically like this discussion and over here on the right hand side, probably where you can't really see it, um, or mine, it says settings right now. Cause I'm already logged in. That's where you'll literally just click join. Um, so, um, it's actually right next to my face. Um, oh, there we go. Um, I wonder if that's any better. Uh, <laughs> probably not. If I join using um, Gmail account, Facebook account, that sort of thing, but you can just click on there and uh, you'll be able to join right in. So uh, Janet says, definitely want to order some. Awesome, cool friend. Um, I'll put that QR code up one more time if you guys want to grab the gospel tea. Um, you can get it there. I will be sending an email out to you all um, that has both of these links, one to join the gospel community and two um, to get the gospel tea. Again, these are meant to be tools and helpful um, for you to help share the gospel with your community and with your sphere of influence. Um, but it is not the only way. It is just a way that I've created and designed to try to help you guys be able to share it as easily and um, as uh, you know connected to you as possible. Um, so the whole goal with the T, even with scanning the back, was to, to force people to go and talk directly to you. <laughs> so um, really excited about it and cannot wait for you guys to get these in your hands. So go snag the gospel tea. Um, if nothing else, go at least join the gospel community so we can have that place filled with people who are willing to talk and answer questions and connect with people um, in those groups when they come in and are scanning the codes to get in there. So you guys are awesome. Uh, I'm going to head out. I'm still at my end of the laws and would love, love, love to spend more time with them before we have to head home tomorrow. So um, feel free to, um, yeah, go join the gospel community, get the gospel tea, and we will see you guys next Sunday night. Um, actually, let me know this too. If it works better at 8 p.m. for everybody, I'm totally fine doing that. Uh, 7 p.m. was what had worked before previously, uh, but pushing it back a little bit actually makes it a little bit easier on my family too. So if you'd rather do it at 8 instead of 7, just let me know. Shoot me a comment. So anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. Have a great night, and we will see you guys next time. You were created on purpose with a purpose, and my goal is for you to go and live and walk in it. So thanks so much. I love you guys, and we will see you next time.